It's awfully silent over here. How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Please try, please try to disregard the silence that aboards here, and try to enjoy the ride. Let's head forward into Hotland. Hi. Just nothing. Sorry, Undyne like told us there was totally a human in the air. Oh my gosh. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Nah. Even if it, the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Yeah, okay. I've actually never talked to them before. At least, not there. Creepy. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh my god! I didn't expect to show you to show up so soon. It's okay. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and. Um. Hi. I'm Dr. Alves. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Okay. Weird. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but, I think someone on a screen really makes you root for them. Yeah, I know. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Okay. Dude, this is kind of weird. Well, actually, um... It's just a tiny issue. Alright, what did you do this time, Alphys? A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Oh, jeez. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. That doesn't sound too bad. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know... Just some small practical adjustments. Are you sure they're small? <laughs> like, um... Anti-human anti combat pe- How did that fall without it being seen? I, I was looking at my camera. At least what I can see. This camera. Um... What, what it shows. I did not see the freaking controller drop behind me at all, and I know it did, because I'm looking right at it. Um... Alphys! You're making my controller go invisible. That's not what I need right now. <laughs> it's right here. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Good. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. How? And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a search for. Okay, that one would not have been able to be seen, actually. Or maybe it was. I don't know. Control is invisible, see? There's nothing there. Wait. You're telling me you see it? How is that possible? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run in jam. Alfie's. You jinxed us. Great. 
you hear something? No, I, I only felt something. It was like a little bug on my face or something. I don't know. Ah, oh, great. Ah, oh, no. Oh, yes. Welcome, beauties. To today's quiz show. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everybody, everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Thanks you, thanks, thanks you, thanks you. Yeah, I know I'm fabulous. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or die. Okay. <laughs> Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? More questions. A new car! <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I'm tempted to say it anyway. <laughs> Oh, that's not right? Aww. Oh, goodness. You eat the crab apple. Here's your terrific prize. <laughs> What's the king's full name? Lord Fluffy <laughs> Dr. French. <laughs> oh my gosh. Aw, Papyrus said so. Alright, I probably shouldn't continue doing this, otherwise this is going to be a problem. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Sugar and spice and everything nice! Ow! Nope. Too bad. <laughs> Gosh. I suck. Here's another easy one for you. Woohoo! <laughs> Um, I'm gonna listen to Alfie's on this one. Wonderful. Don't count on your victory. How many flies it? I was actually about to do that anyway, Alfie's. You ruined it. <laughs> Let's play memory game. That is you. I'm so flattered you remembered. Sure. But can you get this one? Would you smooch? Oh, goodness. Yeah! <laughs> Great and Hey, don't give me that look, Alfies. It's completely, perfectly normal to want to kiss a ghost. I mean, that's a look. I'd kiss him any day. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'd probably phase right through, and I know he's basically a guy, but still. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Medita- Oh, God. Okay. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game- I, Alfie's, you, I, Alfie's, Alfie's, shut up, sh sh Alfie's, 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 you aren't helping our contestants, are you? Well, now you blew it, Alfie's, great, thanks. Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who <laughs> does Dr. Alfie's have it? I could say any of these and they'd be right. Technically, her real crush is on Dine. But all these are correct. I, I love how the timer's not even moving. Uh, 
Um, Alfie's. Uh, Alfie's. Uh. Okay, the real answer is I'm dying. See, Alfie's. I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after that's not weird at all. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing a domestic life. There's one specific person I'd be willing to do with that about, and it's no one in this game. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin for error, 1%. Not even! <laughs> well, well, well. With Dr. Alfie's helping you. The show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But. But. This was only the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. More bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Blast off! Well, that was certainly something. Yes, it was. I'll give you that, Alfie's. You have a crush. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> All right. What do you say? That last question. He wasn't supposed to ask that one. Uh, excuse me? Alright, I mean... If... Uh, I'm gonna react in the way, for right now, I'm going to react in the way when I first played this game. I actually have never read that dialogue before. But if I did, this would be my reaction. Huh? Okay. You are officially suspicious to me. <laughs> I would have said something like that. You're interrupting me. How freaking dare you? Wait, wait. What? Let me give you my f phone number. But then, m maybe, if you need help, I could... What? Where did you get that phone? It's ancient. Doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. The hell? Here, I upgraded it for you. It now has a human, a screwdriver, and something boingy inside. I don't know what that boingy thing was. It was very spry, but you know, I thought it might fit. It did somehow. It was hard to reattach the front of the screen. Anyway, here you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alphys, are you okay up here? Totally, yeah. Okay. It can do texting items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Alfie's, I know that's not a bathroom. It's a bathroom si okay. It's a bathroom sign, but I'm well aware that's not a bathroom, Alfie's. Okay, I haven't explored up here in a while. Is there anything up here? What the hell? Pink goop drips from this strange machine. Looks like Alfie's work table. Seems dusty. Wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. Well, at least she has some clean clothes. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. That's interesting. An incredible invention. I've actually never... I thought I had looked up here, but I don't recognize any of this. 
It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap, it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Aww. That's sweet. Wait, what the hell is this? It's a beat-up figurine of a female human with cat e Huh? What is that, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie? I think th Just realized I didn't watch Undying by the Human. Okay. It wasn't much of a fight to see, but I mean, if you want to. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide you. Sure. Final stretch. <laughs> Not even close, but thanks for the achievement. <laughs> Uh, encourage it. You tell Vulcan- I actually forgot what I was supposed to do with this one. You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Ah, uh, does my best. Nope, 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 Okay. Gonna call him in a minute. Uh, well, how about right now? Kinda get bored just walking around. These elevator escalators, same thing, not really. These escalators are fun and all, but I'd rather not just Oh my gosh! I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this. Oh my gosh. Alfie's just do it already. Oh I'm cheat. I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh I'm cheat. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Sunderplane, hi. Um. Approach. You get close to Sunderplane, but not too close. Eh. <laughs> you human? And we're done. Simple enough. Ring, ring, click. Whoever was calling long enough before you answered it. Come on, Alfies! Woman up! And I say woman up mainly because women are tough as hell. They're tough as nails! Uh, hi! So, the blue lasers. Uh, I mean, Alfies here. Hi! Yeah, hi, Alfies! What do you want? The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange, yeah, I, I get it. Orange ones you have to move, blue ones you have to hold still, white ones you have to avoid. Well, I mean, I guess those are more. Anyway, I get it. Thank you, but I get it. Um, move through those. I can get. Oh my gosh. Alfie, stop stuttering. Go away. Bye. Click. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, and see, I did it. Clouds haven't shook that like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. You, you do realize where you are, right? Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? Oh my gosh, you are so stupid. <laughs> Ah, uh, brick. Brick? Why in the what? There we go. That's what I wanted. And click. Press the switch. Now I can go back and forth whenever I want. Not that I want to, because I really don't, but okay, what? Oh my god, I forgot to tell him where to go. I think I've got it figured out, Alfie. Thanks. You pick at me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery f Oh my goodness. Yes? A a a Alfie's here. The, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. Okay. I I think you should g g g go to the right first. It real uh, it's kind of a rel- You know what, no, I'm not gonna listen to you, Alfie's. I'm going left. Left! I'm a left-handed person, I am gonna go left first. What? 
Alfie's here. Th -th that blue lady just seems totally impassable. But, 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 as the royal scientist, I ha have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll ha hack into th th the Hotland Lasers database and take it out. Thanks. Oh, what? This was a mistake. No, it wasn't. Never mind. For some reason, my brain's telling me that I don't know. I don't know what my brain's telling me. I'm having multiple brain farts right now. There we go. This first one is easy as balls. What, Alfie's? Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. Yeah, a little bit. I'll admit that. See, I didn't even look at the note. There's a note right here, you can barely see it, but I didn't even look at it and I knew what to do. That note basically tells you what to do. Okay. No, ah, pfft, ah, pfft, ah, pfft, ah, pfft, ah, pfft. Totally intentional. Well, actually, yeah, but. Oh, what, Alfie's? Whatever, I'll just explain it. Uh, I think, um, hey, about the puzzles on the left and right. I already solved them, Alfie's. They're a bit difficult to explain, but wait, uh, you already solved them? Awesome! Less explaining for you to do. Thank freaking heavens on both our parts. Alfie's, you are the pure definition of cringe. That's maybe the episode. The definition of cringe. I can't figure out which direction to do that in. <laughs> hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Thank. Oh, jeez. Hi, Metaton. Oh, yes. Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show. By the way, I know his final voice. I'm intentionally giving him that voice just because that's what I did originally. Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will, this way, <laughs> will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. Can we stop pouring this on my head, please? We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. We found the eggs, the milk, and the sugar. Oops. G give me the dang sugar, dang it. Perfect. Great job, beautiful. We've got all the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my. Wait a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. A human soul. Hello. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitute in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan? <laughs> vegan. Oh, well, that's a brilliant idea, Alfie's. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. First first of all, Alfie's, that's stupid. If they were vegan, they would not be having cake in the first place. Or at least not this kind of cake. MTT brand, always convenient, human soul flavor substitute. Oh gosh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> a can of which is just over on that counter. I don't trust that countertop. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? Okay. And this is why I don't trust that countertop. See ya. 
Oh god. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. Oh no! There's not enough time to climb up. But fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. Well, that's convenient, don't you think? You see that you see that huge button that says jetpack? Watch this. I mean that's cool, Alfies. But the only way you would have implemented that is if you knew this was gonna happen. There. You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there. I'm gonna intentionally try to make myself get hit. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Because it's possible to fail, but you have to actually be trying to fail to, you know, fail. <laughs> I, I'm tr game, I'm trying to get hit. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've seen the dialogue that... Well, that's a lie. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty dang sure at this rate I'm not going to make it. <laughs> and as I said before, this is completely intentional. Okay, it really is irrelevant at this point. And time's up. But what? But well, why aren't you moving? No, I must not have added enough fuel. Darn it, I'm sorry. <sighs> Even when it's something like this, I... I still... I still... Oh no. Would you look at that? What? I forgot. Right about now is when we have our commercial break. What are you... Unfortunately, that means no one is watching this right now. I'm not going to destroy you without a live television audience. Looks like you foiled me once again, thanks to the pretty adaptive outfit. What? Until next time, beautiful. Toodles. Oh. Hmm. Uh, um, I, I guess we did it? Well, uh, anyway... Let's keep heading forward. That was interesting. I'll say that much. That was definitely interesting. Anyway, I'm actually going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Undertale. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't sit in anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. It seems like every single episode now is becoming like 20-something minutes long. Shh, or 28, 30-something minutes. Anyway... Want to check out any other RPGs that I, or kind of single out things that I've done prior to this game? I'll have a link to one over here. This game be in the top right hand corner. In the meantime, ugh, meantime, I'm gonna head off, but I'll see you guys later. The train has to head off sometime, you know. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I said that. Bye.